Hi, uh, I am Vishweshraya as Assistant Professor of uh, English, Government First Rate College, Kunigil, which is affiliated to Tumkor University, Karnataka. So this particular session, uh, you will be focused on reign of Queen Elizabeth. So this uh, particular video, it helps for the literature students who are studying in Tumkor University. The syllabus is prescribed for the Tumkor University first semester uh, optional English. So, so why this uh, particular uh, reign of Queen Elizabeth is important in English literature? See, this uh, Queen Elizabeth or Elizabethan era is a splendid era in the history of English literature. Elizabethan literature is a body of works written during the reign of Elizabeth I of England. The timeline is 1558 to 1603. Probably the most splendid age in the history of English literature as I already told you. During which such writers as Sir Philip Sidney, Edmund Spencer, Roger Aston, Richard Hooker, Christopher Marlowe and very importantly William Shakespeare flourished in this age. So students and viewers and listeners uh, let us uh, have a look at some of the slides on the screen. Uh, yes, so look at here on the uh, slide, uh, we find that uh, the title of the uh, slide is Reign of Queen Elizabeth. As I already told you, it is a prescribed uh, syllabus for first optional English uh, uh, first year BA who are studying in Tumkor University. So this uh, you know helps the students to locate uh, the Elizabethan era, right? Okay, so we see that here learning outcome what okay what actually it leads to uh, uh, you after learning this is very interesting and important that th this helps the students to come across <clears throat> the works of Shakespeare and his uh, contemporaries in relation to Elizabethan culture and the wider literary traditions of uh, Renaissance poetry and drama so uh, and also it helps the students to familiar uh, or familiarize themselves with the variety of information from the Elizabethan age. So and also uh, students, they, you just learn to identify some key aspects of Elizabethan era. Okay. Yeah. In English literature, we call it as Elizabethan age or renaissance this timeline is 1558 to 1603 so this era or age or this english literary renaissance consists of four subjects that is the elizabethan age the jacobian age the carolian age the commonwealth period so this reign of Elizabeth I of England, 1558 to 1603. So, we uh, already, I told you that it's a splendid age in the history of English literature. And also, this age is the name given to the time when Queen Elizabeth I ruled England. So, this age, or Elizabethan age, uh, we saw that... Uh, the flourishing of poetry, especially the sonnet, uh, the Spenserian uh, uh, stanza, dramatic blank verse, and many more in the genre of poetry. So this uh, particular age or uh, this particular Elizabethan age is a golden age of drama. We did see that the plays, especially the plays of Shakespeare, 
uh, uh, contributed to uh, this world literature is marvelously and uh, famously has taken consideration so we just see that uh, this uh, uh, also again now uh, uh, inspired a wide variety of uh, uh, splendid prose form also here so we we say that uh, from historical chronicles versions of holy scriptures pamphlets and literary criticism to the first english novels so we can just say that here the elizabethan age flourished poetry form uh, uh, plays and prose as well so these are the genres have uh, focused more in this particular era so famous writers of this elizabethan age so very interestingly so i just read out some of the names and also you can just uh, see on this or you can just uh, look at on the slide uh, sir philip sidney edmund spencer Rog roger astrum richard hooker christopher marlowe and william shakespeare the most famous writers of this elizabethan age is probably we just as i told you that is probably william shakespeare yeah just be i told you that uh, these uh, kind of uh, genres like you know poetry became very uh, uh, important here and we just see that uh, in the later 16th century of this uh, in this age which poetry was characterized by 
elaboration of language and extensive allusion to classical myths. The most important poets of this era include Edmund Spencer, Sir, uh, Sir Philip Sidney, Elizabeth herself, a product of Renaissance humanism, uh, produced occasional poems uh, such as On Monsieur's Departure and The Doubt of Future Force. See, herself created many poetries like this. Edmund Spencer was one of the most important poets of this period, as I told you. He was the author of the main piece of work or main important uh, work that is The Fairy Queen, which was written uh, from uh, 1590 and 1596. It is an epic poem and fantastical allegory celebrating uh, the Todder dynasty of Elizabeth the first. So another uh, major uh, figure or the poet Sir Philip Sidney was an English poet, courtier and soldier and is remembered as one of the most prominent figure of Elizabethan age. His works include Aristophel and Stella, The Defense of Poetry, The, the Countess of uh, uh, Prembrook's Arcadia, poems uh, intends to be, the, uh, to be set to music as songs, such as by Thomas uh, Camp, uh, Campion, became the popular as uh, printed literature was uh, disseminated more widely in the households okay shakespeare was also popularized the english sonnet which made significant uh, changes uh, to petrarch's model of sonnets uh, yeah okay when it comes to the theater in this age we just see that the Italian Renaissance had discovered the ancient Greek and Roman theater. This revival of interest was instrumental in the development of the new drama, which was then beginning to make apart from the old mystery and miracle plays of the Middle Ages. Yeah. So, uh, without which, we you uh, know we can't complete that William Shakespeare uh, stands out uh, in this period both as a poet and playwright Shakespeare wrote plays in a variety of uh, genres including his phrase tragedies comedies and the late romances or tragic comedies yes early classical and uh, Italianate comedies like a comedy of uh, manners, sorry, comedy of errors, uh, containing tight double plots and uh, precise comic sequences, give way in the mid 1590s to the romantic atmosphere of his greatest comedies, uh, like you know, uh, a mid uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, Much Ado About Nothing as you like it and twelfth night after lyrical uh, richard the second written almost entirely in verse form uh, shakespeare introduced prose comedy into the histo histories of the late uh, 1590s henry fourth uh, parts one and two and henry five uh, this period begins and ends with the two tragedies that is Romeo and Juliet and Julius Caesar. So, uh, so we can just say that here Shakespeare's career continued into the Jacobian period also uh, and in the early 17th century. Shakespeare wrote uh, the, so, uh, many many plays as you know that. So I'll be uh, focused more uh, on Shakespeare in the next session also. So, uh, by saying this, this particular session highlights that 
Elizabethan age is uh, contributed lot to the English literature. So uh, we can say that we uh, uh, very important students, uh, listeners, and uh, viewers. Just focus here that Elizabethan age is very uh, important uh, age in English literature. So, uh, thank you by saying this. So, uh, you will be having some of the um, uh, MCQs also. So, just you can just uh, uh, look at on the screen, you can just view there. Uh, that is right. Uh, uh, what is the meaning of renaissance just you can just um, you know uh, think of that uh, renaissance first came to the dash you know where uh, which place like that uh, which country is known as dawn of renaissance what is the reign of elizabeth the first of england and uh, who of the following is known as the child of renaissance and which of these kings uh, was the subject of a play by Marlowe, Christopher Marlowe, like this William Shakespeare, uh, uh, you know, when uh, uh, William Shakespeare born in which date or which era, I mean, uh, that is also uh, important to hear. And how many plays did William Shakespeare write? Like this, how many sonnets did William Shakespeare write? Uh, when was the globe? A Roman, uh, uh, you know, amphitheater or an Elizabethan theater or something like that. See, you have many things to focus here. That is how uh, some of the references are which I have uh, referred here. Uh, so, thank you for your patience listening and uh, hearing me like this. Uh, thank you and uh, thank you so much.